Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. I'm your host, David Burroughs, and this is episode number 68. Are you ready? Are you ready? Well, hello, everybody. Once again, and as always, thank you for taking the time to stop on by here on the show. Many things happening, of course, around Sarnia, and I just want to point out to you that uh, over the next few weeks, you're going to see some slight changes here in the show and how the show is brought to you, and uh, we're going to be uh, adding some interesting segments here on the show, uh, so keep looking for that. It's going to be a lot of fun and very, very excited to uh, be able to share that with you. That's coming up in the next few weeks. This week, Southern Rockers, you are going to love what we're about to share with you. Local group Southern Fried Incorporated is back here on the show. They were here last year, but they've made some changes and got a new album coming out. And we had the opportunity to get down to their studio here in town and talk to them about the changes in the band and what we can expect to see. And we're going to give you a taste of some of their new music as well. So right now, Southern Rock fans, take a look at this interview. Local musicians, Southern Fried Inc. Look at this and then we'll be back. All right, this week on the show, uh, very exciting to have a re return visit, if you will, with uh, friends of ours who were on the show about a year ago, Southern Fried Incorporated, heading into a new direction and some changes, and to talk to us about that. Roy Cunningham, how are you, Roy? Doing great. And uh, Dave Allen, hey. thanks for being here. And we're in your studio, Sugar yeah, Tone Productions. Sugar Tone, yeah. Right on. Southern Fried Inc., still rocking it. But uh, like I said, a little different direction. Roy, why don't, what's the direction? What's the change going on here? Well, we're we're just uh, you know we're getting into our second CD here now and trying to get some new material down. Uh, I've taken over the singing duties, so right. there's been a transition in in uh, in the staff, so to speak. Yeah, um, that's right. In the members of the band, so so I'm uh, kind of like the front man now behind my keyboard, which is a little tricky. Yeah. But, uh, but very enjoyable. I'm really looking forward to the challenge. I'm looking forward to to really taking it up to an, to a higher level. Awesome. And, and really giving you guys the energy that uh, that makes Southern Fried Inc. Southern Fried Inc. For sure, for sure. Now, Dave Allen, you're uh, you, you kind of help. Uh, you're the sound guy as well as uh, you wear a couple of different hats in the band. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't uh, I can't get away from it. Even yeah. if I have another guy doing it, I still can't keep my hands. Off yeah, of I hear you. It's kind of a passion <laughs> too, right? Yeah. Well, I do it in the studio, yeah. and I just want to make sure when we're doing it live that it's right. You know, so some new material. Uh, has come out. Uh, you, we're going to play some of that shortly. But what's the? Is is there a difference in uh, say the sound of, of Southern Fried Ink too, or, uh, or added to? Yeah, I don't know if there's such a difference in the sound. Um, it's really kind of the same stuff. It's just it's a, it's a different direction, I guess. Just in in it's kind of like simplification, really, is yeah. what it is. That uh, a big thing that we looked at going in with the new direction that we're heading in with with the guys that we have now is. Just, just keep it a little bit simpler and keep it a little bit more raw and, and easy and and it really shows in the new material when you guys hear it you're gonna love it the material is great man it's just yeah. it's killer awesome and, Get up and, and dance. it's yeah it's it's in that your face stuff, yeah. right on southern fried egg right on now you're not uh you're not playing the bars a lot i mean i mean you will of course yeah. but uh you guys are more of a, a festival gig if you will is that right? yeah exactly. we like yeah. to play the bigger rooms yeah i mean that's really where we shine we're a, we're a concert band so right um we do play the bars you know uh more to just keep tight and whatnot and and have some fun at that level um it's a keep very the intimate root, setting. Keep the roots a little yeah, bit yeah, too. Yeah, that's true. We all come from bar uh, bar bands over the years, you know, right and on. and the, the, they're intimate rooms. You have a lot of fun. You can really get to interact with the people that you don't yeah. really get to do on the festival stages, right? right? Because you know they're seventy feet away, but you get a lot of intimacy in a bar, and you still get to mingle and and see people and and get a, a good reaction. Right right it gets on. our music out there too. We and, do all you know ninety five percent original. Yeah, music. Yeah. Right. So we don't have four hours worth of. Yeah. original music to go in and well not four hours of music i know what you're saying yeah. not, not necessarily yeah. just a full night like four, a cover band. Yeah. three or four exactly. full sets because they can so. play everybody's yeah. music yeah, right? we do we do a couple covers uh you know southern classic songs right but it's all original so cool that's why we're looking at the the festival opening 
for bigger acts where we can go on for 45 minutes or an hour and right. just plow them. And, and pump it out hard. Yeah. And, right on. Yeah, and well, if, uh, I've heard a little bit already of uh, what you're coming out with, and uh, it's definitely still got that high energy that, that you guys are known for. And uh, we're going to play some of that here on the show for you right now. What's this called that we're going to play a little bit from? Uh, Poor Joe. Poor Joe. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was written uh, shortly after. It was almost slated for the first album. Right. And we just pushed it off a little bit and worked on it a bit more and got Roy in on the vocals on it. Yeah, right on. Well, it sounds like you're heading in the right direction, if you will, a positive yeah. direction yeah. and some more energy. Like I said before, I don't know how you can get more energy out of you guys because you've always had lots before. But uh, you're getting pretty you, old. You've definitely, <laughs> <laughs> you definitely got the positive energy going on, guys. Thanks so much, Roy Cunningham, oh, Dave pleasure. Allen. Yeah, thanks a lot. And uh, we're gonna play a little bit of that for you right now, just a teaser, if you will, here on the show. This is Southern Fried Incorporated. Listen to poor Joe. Welcome back here once again on the show, and uh, thank you, Dave Allen and Roy Cunningham from Southern Fried Incorporated, uh, talking to us down at Sugar Tone Productions Studio here in Sarnia, and uh, we had a lot of fun talking to them off camera after as well. Actually, we were there for quite some time uh, laughing and joking and talking about the music industry, so thank you again to the band, and if you want to get more information about Southern Fried Inc., it's easy enough to do, just go to their website, southernfriedinc.com, and when you go there, sign up for their free uh, email newsletter and you'll get a free mp3 download of their song the cougar and the kitty as well as a very special video now i, I gotta tell you i'm a little jealous of this guy i'm about to uh, share with you gary ward professional interviewer uh inventor of many many things and i think probably southern fried incorporated's uh, biggest fan i'm going to show you this video right here it's only about a minute take a look at this professional gary ward talks to southern fried Inc., and then we'll be back with more Hey, I'm Gary Ward. I'm here with Dave Ballin on Southern Friday. Inc. We're here in his studio here. How did the band get together? Is what I'm trying to say. High school. Well, they're all high school, but yeah, Cunningham on vocals. I'm up there. But, uh, I know he's talked a lot about you guys, and he's basically said that like he just loves playing with you guys. For a long ride, so so you guys got to check out Southern Fried Inc. is what we're really trying to say. Okay, I could have saved you all the grief and just said that at the beginning. Well, that's why we do it this way. That's why professional interviewers. Oh, and you know what you need to do? You all need to subscribe now. Okay, you need to go to SouthernFriedInc.com and you need to subscribe. Put your email address in, and then you'll be on the list. And when you get all the instructions, you'll see you'll be able to get Cougar and the Kitty, the whole version. All right, you get the whole thing. Go register, subscribe, fill out the stuff, become a member, watch over some great music and great shows coming from these guys. All righty? I'm Gary Ward. We're going to talk to you soon. So don't go away. 
they don't, it all breaks down. I get fired and I'm out of a job on the pogey line right before Christmas. Nobody wants that. <laughs> well, there you have Gary Ward. And uh, be sure to subscribe to Gary Ward's channel as well because he does some really cool things as well as you can see some more videos with Southern Fried Incorporated. Now, Gary Ward, uh, you are the man. I got to tell you, Gary, I'm reaching out to you right now. If you happen to be watching this video, would you be on my show, Gary? I'd be so honored, Gary Ward. If you would be here on the show, we'll get you here maybe as a regular uh, special celebrity guest that you are because I know you're worldwide. And uh, maybe you could talk to us about uh, more of the uh, wardraphonic sound, if you would. Uh, we could share that here on the show. So, Gary Ward, please, please be on my show. All right, well, that's all the time for Southern Fried Incorporated. Once again, check out their website, southernfriedinc.com. Taking a quick break, and when we come back, a very, very exciting uh, new band going to be hitting the Sarnia area, and they've already been making it big over in the UK. We're going to show you and talk to you about Blurred Vision right after this. Cheeky Monkey, the greatest TV store. Cheeky Monkey, movies and more. Cheeky Monkey, the greatest TV store in town. Cheeky Monkey, the greatest TV store in town. All right, welcome back once again here on the show. Very excited to uh, share this uh, new band with you. They're called Blurred Vision, and they've just gotten back recently from the United Kingdom. They had a 12-day tour over there with huge success, and now they're looking at doing, and they will be doing, a 17-day tour to the U.S. And in between all of that, we're looking at having them here in Sarnia, Ontario, uh, for you to see Blurred Vision. Now, I'll tell you about that more on next week's show and when that's going to be, tease, tease. But Blurred Vision, what's so big about these guys? Well, you check out their YouTube channel. And actually, I'll show you a video here this week. But they are backed by rock legend Roger Waters from Pink Floyd. And uh, Roger Waters has kept in touch and, and supported them uh, for many, many years already now. Terry Brown, a multi-platinum producer, Terry Brown, I should say. Uh, and if you don't know the name, producer of Rush. Uh, also is the producer for Blurred Vision. These guys are the next big thing, and that's not just me saying that. Uh, much uh, MTV, uh, news media, print, uh, video media, all of them are saying they are the next big global band just waiting to happen. So we've got an opportunity to show you their video here on the show. And this is actually uh, just a studio edit of the video that they're uh, coming out with an official video release of this song I'm about to share with you very shortly. And I've been in touch with these guys, and they're looking to come to Sarnia. We're going to get them here, and big things are going to happen, and you're going to want to be able to say, I saw those guys in Sarnia. So right now, I want to take you to uh, a video called Dear John, and this is uh, dedicated to John Lennon and also in support of World Hunger as well as they're involved in many other uh, issues around the world. But right now, I want to share with you Dear John. This is Blurred Vision. Turn it up really loud and take a close look at this, and then we'll be back to talk more about Blurred Vision. Dear John, have you heard the news today? The stench of war is still in the As crowds of people stand and stare At all the madness that is in our world today And though the road we're on is filled with pain We can't help but feel your love remains We still Still believe 
All right, welcome back. One final time here on the show. There's Blurred Vision, and I've been bragging about them, but I tell you, um, check them out some more. You're really going to love what they have to offer, and we're really excited to be having them come to Sarnia very, very soon. I should have that announcement already and finalized for next week's show. Tease, tease, tease. But Blurred Vision involved in uh, world hunger, also uh, against the regime in, in Iran, Iraq, you know, the Ayatollah. If you haven't seen that video, go to their YouTube site as well and check out uh, the remake of another brick in the wall, but they call it Hey Ayatollah, leave them kids alone. And if you watch it, you'll you'll understand. Great video as well. So Blurred Vision, excited to uh, be working with you and getting you down here to Sarnia real soon. Watch next week's show, everybody, for that announcement. Also, coming up on next week's show, of course, the Camel Street Station reunion party happening at the Stubborn Mule, March the 2nd. And I had an interview with Derry Grahan from Honeymoon Suite, and that was a great interview. And that'll be on next week's show as well. Also, if you'd like to be here on the show, if you've got any reason at all you think you need to be here, send me an email to the show at davidburrows.ws, and we'll get you on the show as soon as we can. That's all the time I got for you. Don't forget to subscribe and share with five new friends. Have a great week and an even better weekend. We'll see you next time right here on the show. Bye for now. That's all I need to do. Now I'm here today. All right. Now you got me off track. I had a script to read and it's gone. I'm here today to tell you about Southern Fried Inc. They're like the most incredible Southern rock band there is going. Way up here in Sarnia. You know. They're pretty high up here in Sarnia. And that's uh that's what they do. They get high up, and uh, and they let you have it. It's all high energy rock and roll. I'm telling you, you're in your face, and uh, and your hair will be blowing back. It'll be blowing back like the wind when your hair. That's the kind of energy you're gonna feel. You're gonna feel it. Okay, the band moves air. That's what they do. That's why they're hired. They're hired to move air. You understand? Through their music. So when you get the music going, the air moves. That's the physics. There's a lesson every time that Gary's talking, you know. And if you stick around long enough, you hear it and you learn something new and you're a better person for it. You understand what I'm saying? You're a better person. Now, on to the, to the, to the task at hand. You need to get the CD of this here band, Southern Fried Inc. Okay? And you need to buy it. And, uh... And your life will be changed. You'll never be the same again. So, go buy the CD. If you don't buy the CD, then it all breaks down. And I'm out of a job. Nobody wants that.